Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Don't forget to smash the like button and hit subscribe. This is a different type of video. This is about fashion. A few months ago, I sat there and I was watching a YouTube. I love watching these like videos on like how like Louis Vuitton, how Sheen and Forever 21, the, how they all were created and why they're successful. I like watching all these videos. So I've educated myself quite a lot. So I just wanted to do this video to ask you and to do my own little video about fast fashion because in lockdown I was on boohoo man oh my god I was ordering madman madman <laughs> I was a madman ordering man madman mad amount of clothes <laughs> and I was like nah this is not right I've always liked luxury I've always liked luxury clothes that's what I've enjoyed putting my money into a few weeks ago I done like a total detox got rid of so many clothes got rid of so many items objects but then the other day I went and bought these from like Pull and Bear. And when I was shopping in all these high street shops, I went in. Um, I went in H&M, River Island. Oh, sorry, wait there, I'm thinking of the names. And Pull and Bear. And I realised all the mannequins, all what was put on display, all what was sold, were all exactly the same. I had a look on Boo Boo Man. I had a look on Sheen. They're all exactly the same. All these items of clothing are the same. Oh, Zara. That's where I went. And I... Normally Zara's good, but now Zara's started to do the same stuff. And I'm like, <sighs> they're just chasing the trends. Personally, I'm not one for following the trends. I've always stuck to what I like. When I'm shopping now, I'm like, is it not a trend? Like, what is that? Like Crocs. Oh my God, if you would have said to someone a few months ago, do you want a pair of Crocs? They'd look at you and laugh at your face and take the make out of you. But now everyone's rocking around in Crocs. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I cannot stand Crocs. They're so uncomfortable, they hurt my feet. I've had trauma I'm traumatised from them when I was a little kid running around the pool and slipped as well. Oof, no thanks. Crocs are not for me. They're just getting hyped. If something gets hyped, everyone wants it. I went to Hollister. I've never shopped in Hollister in my life. I'm not sure if that company is a fast fashion company, but I've bought these shorts. These shorts, a pair, another pair, some bottoms, and I'm not being funny, these shorts I have been in for three days. They're super comfortable, and I know I'm gonna keep these for so long, and they wear 25, but that's not the point. The point is that I like them, and they're gonna serve a purpose for a very long time in my life, and that's the only thing that I'm investing my money into these clothes. And the clothes from Pull and Bear, this was actually an artist, I forgot the name of the artist. They've done collaborations with artists and it is part of the eco life cycle, which is really good. And I went to John Lewis and bought the North Face. So I got a North Face. It's over there. I got a North Face hoodie and t-shirt. So the hoodie was 35, meant to be 70. And the t-shirt was meant to be 35 and got it for 17. Then I started researching why these prices are like this. The reason why the prices are cheap on a North Face hoodie in John Lewis, because this hoodie was made for that retailer. It's not the same quality as what, I, what you'd pay for in the North Face shop. These companies, big companies, make the same products but not as good quality. And that's how they win. And they fake to us that we're getting it for like half the price when we're not. It's all a big scam and I fell for it. But I'm like, oh. But they do, but they use these and it's not gonna last as long as what I would have paid 74. It's, it's all a big mind scam and like when you go shopping, it, you've got to really think now, they're trying to get into my brain. I don't know if all this has like occurred because I've been doing the Liz for sure little booklet of retraining your thoughts of like, for example, um. Instead of saying, I'm gonna, oh, I've got a clean room. Say, I deserve to live and work in a clean environment. And as soon as I say that, I'm like, Wish -up! done. Just train your mind. I'll put a link down below. Just be mindful of when you're buying your clothes because I'm starting to do that. And I'm gonna bring you shopping with me because I wanna show you what I'm on about. But I wanna, I wanna do that a little own investigation thing. Welcome to this documentary. So I'm gonna use Instagram. I'm gonna put a poll, 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 a poll up. And I'm gonna ask my followers, do you, do you buy clothes fast fashion? Do you buy fast fast fashion clothes? Or do you think about the e eco? Like eco, I don't even know how to put it. And then after that, I'm gonna go on a Magel and I'm gonna do my own little survey and see if we can just get people's opinions on, like literally the people who are on the app looking to talk to someone. I just wanna investigate my own little thing. So let's get 
started. So I'm going to start with Instagram. Right, where's my phone? By the way, I've got sunglasses on me because I've done a face mask. <laughs> so that's it. I'm going to put the poll. A lot of people will probably say that they don't have the financial, they're not financially stable to think about the eco friendly clothing option because the it's not their problem at the moment but when they are they will this is not good you've got to really think about right as long as you've got a few clothes you're all gucci you don't have to be following all the trends just buy what you like and that's what i'm starting to do well i've always done that anyway but probably some of my clothes have just been bought just because of the trends but it's all right because we're all in this lethal game uh, that just reminds me i need to do a video of why i've come off tiktok That'll be a separate one. I'll change me top for that. <laughs> I'm here still. But let's tune, let's crank up Omegle. Okay, I'm gonna go on Omegle TV because the normal Omegle is like, it's like loads of American. Oh wait, you're gonna see me on there. Okay, let's go. Oh. What is that? What? What? Wait, can I ask you a question? What? Do you buy fast fashion clothes? Or do you look at eco-friendly clothes? I buy whatever the fuck's going to be honest, Nike mainly. <laughs> Thank whatever you. Whatever the fuck I want. Thank you. Ready? This, this shit's fire. <laughs> ah. Okay, I'm gonna have to mute that because it's copyright. Hello. Hi. Hello? Can I ask you a question? Do you buy fast fashion clothes or do you look at eco-friendly clothes? Hello. I look like I recognise you, mate. Do you buy fast fashion clothes or do you look at eco-friendly clothes? What kind of a question is that? I don't know, just do you buy fast fashion or eco-friendly? What, what do you mean by fast fashion? Like fast is that fashion. Like... Like Sheen, Boohoo. Never bought from Sheen, never bought from Boohoo, don't own Primark stuff. Yes, yes, that's fast fashion, that's not good. <laughs> I'm educated here. I don't know if I like the head though. I think I need the hat on. Oh no, that's even worse. Do you buy fast fashion? Or do you buy eco-friendly clothes? Huh. Repeat the question. Huh? What did you say? Do you buy eco-friendly clothes? Or do you buy fast fashion? Fast fashion. Like Primark, uh, H&M, Sheen. <laughs> oh. Go on YouTube and type in fast fashion and watching videos and you, you'll be like I'm not buying fast fashion again thank you <laughs> do, do, do. hello can I ask you one question hi hello mate how are you do you buy fast fashion clothes or eco-friendly clothes uh, I just buy whatever the fuck I want I don't really pay attention to that hey so you you're just shopping Primark Oh, oh, at least we got a response. Uh, you know. uh, no, no. Yeah, no, we know. Hello. Excuse me. Do you buy fast fashion clothes? Or eco friendly clothes? Do you buy fast Sorry? fashion? Do I. Wait, right in chat, I literally can't hear you. So, do you buy fast fashion clothes or eco-friendly clothes? Fashion clothes. Fashion. Designer. Yeah, I buy designer clothes. Yes! I was going to say, oh, I'm just spreading the words about fast yes. fashion. It's you think I'd buy some Primark? Are you dumb? No, nah, no Primark. That no, don't don't shop there. It's fast fashion. It's not good. Yeah, Watch no it on Primark. YouTube. Primark's for homeless people, bruv. You're too old. I'm sorry, mate. Do you buy fast fashion? 
Or do you buy eco-friendly clothes? AKA designer. Yes, let's, let's try and be an eco-friendly environmental person. Tiene altos niveles de mercurio que... Thanks for listening. Okay, I feel like we got a good few responses and I don't want to carry on doing this, so I'll do it. We got some good feedback. Not bad. So, let's have a look. At least we're knowledge. At least I'm knowledge. At least I'm knowledge in you a little bit. Don't know. I'll link some videos down below where I like watching and see if you want to watch them. Record another video talking about why I've come away from TikTok and then I might pop back on and tell you the results. Okay, oh my god, look at me, I look like a little American boy. American sweeter! Okay, so the poll's in, the results are in. I've left it a bit longer. 75% of people on my Instagram buy fast fashion clothes and 25% by eco-friendly clothes. If this video helped any of you, okay, peace out. Bye. I've got more videos to record. <laughs>